Fatty acids are monomers for lipids, which are macromolecules. And we're going to look at the structure. A fatty acid is nothing more than a carboxylic acid that has a long chain or a long tail. So if I draw my carboxylic acid, I start with my carboxyl group. And we usually have chains that are longer than 10 carbons. There are shorter fatty acids, but generally those that have biological uh, relevance are longer and they have double bonds or they have other things. So right now we have a fatty acid. How many carbons are in this fatty acid? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And it's notable to mention fatty acids usually have an even number of carbon atoms. Carbon atoms. When they have double bonds, double bonds tend to be cis double bonds. And just as a curious fact, when we have trans double bonds, that's what we see in the media and in news as trans fat. Trans fat is usually not uh, good for your body because it's hard for it to be processed and it creates other chemical effects in your body. So the normal regular fatty acids that we should eat and consume should be cis fats. Okay, that means that the double bond forms a little basket. When we condense the, these formulas into their uh, ultra condensed form, there are several ways to represent them. So instead of having this long chain making everything like that, we condense the, the group into its condensed formula. So this is my first carbon, and we draw a very close zigzag with the same amount of carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we have a 16 length fatty acid. Remember, since they're really long, this ultra condensed notation is very useful. Ultra condensed notation. And we can also create a notation out of this. So let me be a little bit more explicit. When we have a notation for this, we're going to write 16. Then we're going to write this colon, a zero. And this means that there are 16 carbon atoms and that there are no double bonds. This is another thing though. Um, this is a saturated fatty acid. This means that it's only single bonding. I'm going to give you another example. I'm going to draw another category. And imagine this is the first thing I'm going to draw. I draw my condensed group. And I'm just going to do this randomly. And I look at it. Oh, look at this. It's condensed, but it has a little basket shape with a double bond. So this is a MUFA. MUFAs are mono unsaturated. Unsaturated fatty acids. As I said, fatty acids, remember, are carboxylic acids. This one has one double bond. It's a cis bond. How we're going to keep it? MUFA, mono unsaturated. That means one of the bonds is a double bond. How do we do this in notation? We take parentheses and we count. One, this is the first carbon. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen carbon atoms. Colon. How many double bonds? One. And then we write a little triangle to show where the affliction is, where the inflection of this acid is. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six. It's at seven. Number seven. So. And we said this was 17. Let me recount. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Very good. And this is, we write a 7 right here. To indicate that our double bond is where? It's at number 7. Let's draw another one really quickly. And I'm going to try to do it random as well. Let's see. I'm going to draw another one. We count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So what is the notation for this? We have 16 carbon atoms, colon, how many double bonds? Two. Where are they located? We'll check that out later, but right now 16, 2. Then we write triangle, the delta, the word, to show where the, the double bonds are, and they're located at number 5 and 8. So this notation is very convenient in order to just condense everything down. And this is an example of a PUFA, which is a polyunsaturated fatty acid. So whenever you see saturated fat, unsaturated fat, this is exactly what it means. And there's one last thing to teach you about this, which is omega. Lowercase omega, Greek letter, 
means when we look at a fatty acid, our omega is determined by if we count from the end of the chain to the first position of the first acid, of the first double bond we encounter, we're going to get the omega. So if I start here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I write my little 10. This means this is an omega 10, and I drew that wrong, an omega 10 acid, right? Because from the end, omega means the end, from the end, the double bond is at number 10. We only count the first double bond we encounter. So let's look at the omega for this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This would be an omega 8 acid. So this is very technical, right? But as you've seen probably in health and nutrition guides, the fatty acids that they recommend that we consume in regular foods are omega 3 and omega 6 because this chemical characteristic that they have is what allows us to uh, process them in a different way or for them to have metabolic relevance. So omega-3 and 6 are the ones that we should consume dietarily, but if you want to analyze any acid, remember you count backwards towards the front where the functional group is and wherever we have that little number, that's your omega. Remember, just to look quick recap, let's look at this sheet. This acid, its omega is 0. Why? Because it doesn't even have double bonds, but just to make a summary of notation for fatty acids, we're going to have a number, hyphen, another number, close parentheses, delta, and we might have numbers right here that indicate different things. So I'm just going to do a little rundown. This first number is the number of carbon atoms. This one is the amount of double bonds. And this is the position of double bonds. So a little reverse example. I'm going to write a random notation. 10, 3, triangle, uh, 2, uh, 5, and then 8. So if I want to draw that, I start H-O-O-C, which is my... This is the same as this, remember, which is my carboxyl group. And then I'm going to draw 10, watching out for this. 1, 2, after 2, there's a double bond. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, after 5, there's a double bond. 6, 7, 8, there's a double bond. 8, 9, 10. This is the same notation as this. What is my omega? 1, 2, omega 2.